Layout of proof, a rhombus with right angle is a square. So, like always, I'm going to take a step back so you can see a big picture for a couple seconds. I've got my drawing, I've got my given, the thing I'm trying to prove, and my proof table. Statements on the left, reasons on the right. So, let's take a look at our drawing. Okay. This is a rhombus, okay? That's what we're doing. It's a rhombus with a right angle makes it a square, okay? Now, it's given, if I can keep this in focus here, EFGH is a rhombus, HF is a diagonal, and the measure of angle E, HF, okay, so that's this one, is 45 degrees. We need to prove that angle E is a right angle, okay? So, They've really helped us by this diagonal and that by being by that being 45 degrees. So let's see what happens here. So EFGH is a rhombus, sorry. That's given. Well, it is a rectangle. And HF is the diagonal, okay? That's given. And HF is congruent to HF. All right? That's the reflexive property of congruence. So that's a triangle and that's a triangle and they're sharing a side, so we can say the sides are congruent, okay? So, the measure of EHF is 45 degrees. Well, they told us that in the given, okay? And EH is congruent to EF. EH is congruent to EF. The reasoning for that is a rhombus is equilateral. You know, all the sides are equal, and they told us it's a rhombus, okay? So, the sides are equal because all the sides are equal, all right? So, triangle HEF is an isosceles triangle, H-E-F. This is an isosceles triangle up here, okay? An isosceles triangle has two congruent sides, which it does, okay? We know this is congruent to that, too. Keep that in mind, okay? So, HEF has two sides that are congruent, so it is an isosceles, okay? Angle EHF is congruent to EFH. This angle here is congruent to the one right here, okay? Up here on the top of the F's angle. Base angles opposite congruent sides of a triangle are congruent because it's an isosceles triangle, and that's 45 degrees. That's got to be 45 degrees, okay? So, now we've said it's got two sides that are equal. We've proved that two angles are equal. So, now look. The measure of angle EFH is 45 degrees. This little guy is 45 degrees because of the substitution principle. We proved that this was congruent to this, so we could say if that's 45 degrees, then that's 45 degrees, okay? Now, we say the measure of EFH, EFH, this unlabeled one right here, plus this one that is labeled at 45 degrees, they total 90 degrees together. And that's because of the addition rule. You can add something to one side, you can add it to the other side. So if both are 90 degrees, then angle E has to be 90 degrees because the sum of the measures of interior, interior angles of a triangle are 180. So 180 minus the 90 that they are leaves only a 90 left, so that has to be 90 degrees. So that's how we proved that one of the angles of a rhombus is a right angle, so it's a square, and our next video, number 146, is going to be about trapezoids. I hope you stay with me, and I hope I've been a big help. See you next time.